What's going on my friends, DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today what I wanna do is touch on five or six items that I've picked up so far this year in 2022 that are gonna be going into my DJ bag that I think you guys should know about. That's coming up next. All right, so as a DJ, obviously, we're into tech, we're into new things, buying stuff, whatever. Um, I spend way too much money on Amazon, that's for sure. Late night scrolling, right? Well, today what I wanted to do is touch on a few items that I've picked up so far this year that I think are, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say game changers, but things that are definitely going to be to my advantage this year rolling into wedding season. Uh, first thing I wanted to touch on is I bought a 2004, or 2022, yeah, a 2022 14-inch MacBook Pro, and it comes with this giant block charger, right? The new MagSafe 3, I'm switch, I'm super glad they brought back MagSafe, but the new MagSafe 3 is right here, and it's USB-C on one end, and it plugs into this charger. Well, this block is just huge. I do like that you can pop this off and put that long extended cable on there if you want, which I have some of those from previous cords, but I was on Amazon, and I found that Anchor actually makes a 65 watt charger. It says IQ3 on it. Um, but yeah, it's a 65 watt, they call it a pod light charger. Uh, by the way, I'll leave links to all this stuff down in the description, but I just wanna show you the size difference between this Anchor one and the Apple one. So, plug out, here you guys go. I mean, the Anchor one is literally less than half it's like a third of the size of the stock apple one so this is something that i picked up i actually bought two of them uh, i've got one in my video booth and this one goes in my bag and then the stock apple one i just leave at home um, with my dj setup back here uh, to keep my computer charged you can get these extra cables um, right off apple's website for 50 bucks which i think is kind of a ripoff for this cord but it is what it is so i bought two extra of these and two of these bricks and I'm adding them to my booths and all that type of stuff so that I should never be without a charger. Uh, so this next one um, kind of rolls right into the other anchor block. This is a 20, uh, 20 watt, yeah. This is a 20 watt nano block from Anchor. This like charges your phone super fast, um, charges my iPad, or iPad fast, AirPods, all that type of stuff. Um, so this is another thing. I kind of rolled this in with the Anchor because they're both Anchor products, but I'll leave a link to these on Amazon too. They're just way faster at charging than the little cubes that come with your phone and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure how the technology works, but it's awesome, and I'm super happy that I stumbled upon these. So the next thing I want to touch on is another Anchor product. So this is actually an Anchor power bank, so it's rechargeable, but the difference between this and your traditional one is this one actually has the plug built right onto it, which I think is super cool. And I also found out that whatever you have plugged into it through USB while it's plugged in will continue to charge while this recharges at the same time. Um, it's pretty small. I keep this in my DJ bag charged up just in case. It, it comes in handy. I've taped it to uh, like the, the pole that my GoPro goes on. I've taped it on there to charge the GoPro while the GoPro's filming. That type of stuff comes in really handy for that. I can think of a bazillion uses for this, so this is just something convenient to have with you. Um, you can charge your phone in your backpack, whatever, and I like this one because it has the plug, like I said. So that's the end of the Anchor products. <clears throat> so that's three Anchor products that I absolutely love. Um, but this next one is not Anchor. Anchor may make one, but I've been doing a lot more traveling with my DJing lately. Um, just weddings that are farther away, stay, spending the night in hotels and things like that. And I found this on Amazon that came in super handy. I want to say it was around 35 bucks. I'll leave a link to the exact one. But what it actually is, is it plugs in through USB-C. So you could use this little anchor block here. Plug this in through USB-C and it's got three different charging stations. So this one pops up to charge your Apple Watch. And then it's got a spot for your phone, spot for your AirPods, or if you have two phones or you know whatever. Uh, anything that charges you know, the, through the, you know, touchless charging or whatever, charging pads. So, charge your phone, 
charge your Apple Watch, charge this, all through one plug, which is super convenient because then you don't have to bring this whole rat's nest of cables with you to the hotel. You don't have to worry about forgetting it either because all you need is this and one USB-C cord. So, and it's magnetic, it locks up. I've got a little bag that I bring with me to the hotel to keep this and some other cables and things in just to keep everything organized. But yeah, this right here was, uh, this I would say is a game changer as it prevents me from having to bring three different chargers for you know, three different devices and I can plug everything in and just set it on this mat when I go to bed. So that'll leave that down in the description. Now the last thing guys is gonna be, um, I guess saving the best for last, but you guys know I've been on YouTube for quite a while and I've used a bunch of different cameras. I've owned a bunch of different cameras. I've got like every iteration of the GoPro since the Hero 5, I think. Uh, and now I'm onto the Hero 10, which I do like the Hero 10, but I picked this up a couple months ago and it's really been uh, super nice. So that is gonna be the Insta360. So this, this is this little sleeve that comes with it to protect it. But the 360, what is so great about it is it's really truly a set it and forget it kind of camera. So what you can do is you literally like, so this, this, this handle it comes with a couple different ones or you can get a couple different ones. So it actually doesn't come with a handle at all, which I think is kind of crazy. But this one, Actually, you push this on the bottom, the bottom button on the bottom, and it turns into a tripod. So what I can do with this is I set it in the corner of my DJ booth, and I raise it up, get out through my phone, hit record, and that's all I have to do. Uh, the battery life's pretty long on it. I did buy a second battery just because I do let it run for quite a, quite some time. But you just kind of set that it there, let it record, and then go back through later, scrub through the footage and pick out the scenes that you want. The fact that it's recording in a full 360 motion or 360 view is just crazy. I'm sure you guys have seen some video footage of people using these 360s. So, I mean, I might throw a clip in here or whatever, but um, I've only used it at one gig so far, but it was super cool. I used it to, it was actually a gig log that I did. It was a Tuesday wedding. So look back at that gig log and I'll leave a link to that gig log up here. Um, you'll see the clip. So the clip was them coming into the room and you could have, it was me in the background doing the introductions and then them coming in the room all filmed off one camera on a tripod that I didn't even have to do anything with. I just hit record and let it go. So pretty cool. Um, it comes with or you can get two different handles for it. So this is the handle that has the tripod knot on it. And then I also picked up this handle just because it's way smaller and lighter and it's actually longer. So it stretches out even longer. So there's that handle. And then another thing that I picked up that was kind of cool for another accessory is this magnet mount. So what you can do with this, say you're doing gig logs or something, you can screw this onto here put the camera here and you can magnet this to whatever you want. Whether it may be a steel beam inside the venue, the side of your truck, the side of your trailer, you know, whatever. Um, you can stick this onto things and just maybe get a different vantage point or just a, you know, another little unique, um, unique view, I guess, of the event. So, all right guys, I know this isn't my traditional type of video, uh, but I was packing up my DJ bag and I just have all this new, I guess, technology type stuff that I really wanted to share with you guys. And I think that, uh, you know, it could definitely be beneficial to all of us to, to pick up some of these things. So links to all this stuff will be down in the description. As always, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Click that like button and click that notification bell so you can get notifications about upcoming videos. Peace.